Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Brooke. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a weekend in the life. So it is 8.30 on Saturday morning. Um, I have a hair appointment this morning. I have not done my hair. I washed it last night, let it air dry. Here's what we're working with. Um, there's no point in me doing my hair because my appointment is at 10 a.m. So I need to leave in an hour. So um, here's what I'm wearing. This is a cropped t-shirt from Target. These are some black high-waisted um, Levi jean shorts. So I was going to make myself some coffee, but I decided that since I'm ready an hour early, that in 30 minutes, I'm probably just gonna leave early, run through the Starbucks drive-thru, get myself a little something special to um, just treat myself, because it's the weekend. Um, our plans later today, we are going to be going paddleboarding with the dogs, and then um, I think we're gonna get sushi for dinner, and then tomorrow we are going boating with um, a bunch of our friends, so I'm really excited about that. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe below and if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Okay, so last night I went to the grocery store and I decided to start prepping for the boat tomorrow. So um, I cut up these little white rolls. Already put toothpick through them to keep them together because we are going to make some sandwiches. These are French rolls that I have cut, oh no, this is the one that I cut up in case we want a different type of bread and then people want larger sandwiches. And then we got this margarita mix that already has alcohol in it, so that just makes things easier. And then I made this big old Tupperware of chicken salad and then this of those um, salami cream cheese roll-ups that I had made before and they were a total hit. So I just decided to remake those. Last time, um, not a lot of people ate the egg salad, so I'm not gonna waste my time baking that. I just made more of the chicken salad. In some exciting news, my sister-in-law is getting married in just a couple weeks, middle of September. So I am helping her um, kind of get everything together. Um, yesterday I FaceTimed her. I showed her everything that I had saved for my wedding and she picked out different pieces that she liked. Um, I had kind of done like rustic, eucalyptus, um, burlap, things like that. A lot of like dark wood and such. Sorry, I just got a robo call. It was uh, same area code as my hair salon, so I thought they were calling me because I asked if I could come in early, but it wasn't. It was someone calling trying to recruit me for senior care. I'm a little too young for that. Um, she's doing um, completely different decor, but same type of vibe. So there were a lot of pieces of decor that I had that she's able to kind of repurpose and use in a completely different way, but you know, it's still gonna be able to save her money. And so, yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys um, that stuff that she's gonna use. And then also I ended up going vintage shopping yesterday and found a bunch of old picture frames. And um, I'll kind of explain my vision for that in a second. Okay, I'm sorry if it's a little noisy. I decided to open the garage because it just helps with light. Okay, so uh, first things we're going to be make, making the um, name um, signs out of cork. So we're gonna have the cork standing up. Um, we're gonna paint like the top of it and we're gonna like put a decorative piece on top and then we're gonna have the cards sticking out from the side. Um, it's gonna be super cute. Um, when I craft it, I will show you guys because it's kind of hard to explain, but I have 150 corks in here. Um, this is a standing sandwich chalkboard um, that we had uh, for our wedding and Darren's mom had personalized it. It says, uh, here's to love, laughter, and happily ever after. And then um, this side was the breakdown of our um, like wedding schedule. Unfortunately, we were, we tried to like scrub it off and kind of see, and it won't come off even though it was chalkboard paint. So, um, I got more chalkboard paint, or I'm sorry, that's, you know what I mean, chalkboard pen. And so this is chalkboard paint. So we're gonna repaint over this so that she can put her wedding schedule on it. And again, this is like a, a fold out chalkboard. It has, or sandwich board, you know, it has like the chain in the middle and stuff. So it stands. And then um, in case we want to, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I had stained my own um, table numbers and she's gonna be using 
those table numbers as well. And so I can't remember which stain it was that I had used, but we want other things to match. So I'm just gonna bring over both of those. Um, I had these frames from uh, my wedding. I had removed the pictures and I just had the glass and I wrote on the glass. Unfortunately, in storage, both of the glass pieces broke. So I think we're gonna have like a big white wall and just like frame random things, you know, like uh, pictures of them or um, like cute quotes, things like that. Um, this I had used, I know I still have the tag on it. The tag was covered, I swear. Um, when I used it, uh, this I had used for the seating chart. So I just had each table had its own, um, like paper with a list of all the names and it was like, um, like a cute template and everything. Um, she's going to use it, I think for photos of them. And I think it's gonna be really, really cute. And then this is another one that stands up and it says, pick a seat either side. You are loved by both groom and bride. So she's going to use that near the seating area for the ceremony. And then um, I will get into these boxes of other things that she's borrowing in a second. But while we're up here, so this is one of the big old pictures I found at the vintage store. Look at this, 20 bucks. So what we're planning to do with this, we are gonna remove both the glass and the entire painting. We're removing everything. So it's just gonna be an empty frame like this. And we're going to be putting thick white ribbon from side to side and we're gonna kind of make something like this. And I think we're either gonna paint this like a wood or we're gonna paint it white. And then with the white ribbon going across and then we're gonna use this gigantic thing for table numbers because she has more tables than I had. So, or we had, but um, you know what I'm saying. So that's what this is gonna be. And then I think we're gonna use the glass. Um, we had a big old like wood welcome sign. You know, it has like pretty calligraphy, like welcome Brooke and Darren, September 7th, 2018. You know what I mean? It has like that. Um, there are beautiful ones on just glass. So I think we're gonna use, she really liked the glass idea. So I think we're gonna repurpose the glass from this for that. Um, and then we have this other big one we are going to be painting. And look, this one was 15 bucks, 15 50. Um, this one we're gonna be painting like wood um, or we might sand it down. This is actually wood. So we might sand it down and just stain it, not sure yet. Um, we're gonna remove everything inside and this is either going to frame um, a giant photo of them or um, I think we're thinking about using it for like a restroom sign because they're, they're renting like these big old like, tr like restroom trailers. Um, and then a few more frames. We aren't sure what exactly we're gonna put in it yet. We might put like the menu or something. Um, not quite sure, but just these different frames that we're gonna be um, painting or staining and such to make them all match. Um, these are just like eucalyptus I had on that welcome sign I was talking about. We had these like hanging over and it was absolutely stunning. I'll see if I can find a photo of our welcome sign. I have it buried in the garage and I just don't really feel like getting it out right now. But um, yeah, so she's gonna, I'm not sure what she's gonna use these for. Maybe she'll put them in vases or something, but she's gonna find something for these. Then I have this giant eucalyptus like garland that I never even used because it came in after the wedding joy so she's gonna be able to use that which i'm excited about it's just been sitting here for almost two years no big um we have this giant and sign it was unfinished wood i had painted it gold for our wedding we used it for engagement photos um we also you see thumbprints needs to be cleaned um we also used it on the um sign-in table so she's i'm not sure what she's going to use it for yet uh maybe background on the cake cake table maybe sign table who knows, but um, it'll be somewhere. Um, this is just a wood, Mr. and Mrs. We had this um, surrounded by like roses and like eucalyptus and like peonies um, on our sweetheart table at dinner. Um, I'm not sure what she's gonna do with it. Um, it would be really cute on a cake table or even a welcome table. Honestly, it'd be really cute for just anything. Uh, here's another frame that we were thinking maybe putting like the dessert menu in on the dessert table. Again, we would be removing this background, we, that photo, you know, it would just be the glass in the frame. So this one was three bucks. When I had done my wedding, I got all my frames, everything from Home Goods, And I didn't even think to go to like a vintage store. 
and I could have saved so much money. This was, all those frames were like a total of, I think like 50, $59. Oh, I also found this at the vintage store, not even used, $2. Okay, so drinks, it says it on both sides, dance floor and um, sweets and treats. So what I'm thinking with this is we're gonna get a, um, a post or like a wooden stake and we're gonna have them facing different directions. You know what I mean? Like those crossroad sign because it says it on both sides. So you can have them facing either direction. So I think it's gonna be super cute. I'm um, kind of on like one of like the corners of the grass, like this way the dance floor, this way to the dessert table. You know, I think that's gonna be so stinking cute. Um, We have this. I think we had this on our cake table. I'm not sure. Um, these we've gotten, but we never used. They're little like chalkboard signs. They're packs of six. We have two of them. They're from Hobby Lobby. Um, this my mom had gotten for my engagement party. We're, it's supposed to be a game. You're supposed to hide it and whoever finds it gets a prize. But um, we forgot, so it never got used. So super excited that she wants to use that. Um, these are just a bunch of burlap table runners. I think I have like eight of them. Uh, this is a garland that says cards. Um, so I think she's gonna get like a old leather like trunk and hang this across the top. So it's, yeah, you can kind of, you can kind of see. Cards, yeah, it's super cute. Um, let's see, and then, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this out. Okay, well, this is also a standing sign. It says, love is sweet, take a treat. And then it has a little stand-up thing. Um, this one is just a wooden frame. It has like two photo things and it says, I always knew it was you. Um, she's not sure if she's gonna use that, but figure just in case. These I used for my engagement party, little burlap bows. And then these are little opening things that you hang um, like a photo on. So these are photo frames. They have a standing back as well. Um, we're thinking about possibly using that for um, just like writing the different types of desserts. You know what I mean? Like kind of like labeling them and then possibly um, putting a few photos of them in between, like intermixed, you know, like, I don't know what she's doing, but donut holes and then, you know, some photos of them throughout. I mean, I don't know if she's doing donut holes, but, um, you know, just so that it looks like all cohesive and like there's a theme. So in here, um, these are the table numbers that I used and I stained them. So they're just solid wood. And then these are like wood stands that they slide into to stand up. Um, so she's gonna use those. Cause again, this is like the perfect color and it works and she wanted wood ones. So, you know, why reinvent the wheel? Um, these are for the back of chairs. Miss it, oh, okay, well. Uh, Oh, they were facing different ways. Mrs. and Mr. Um, we hung these on the back of our chairs and then our table was pushed up against like um, this like beautiful brick fireplace. But moral of the story, we couldn't get a picture with these in it because there was nowhere for the photographer to stand. So, I mean, those have like never been seen. Um, these are a bunch of just like basic, like just cylinder glass vases. I think I have like 14 of them. Uh, these are wood rounds to like put like display things on top of so I have two of those They get a little crumbly. That's why they're in a bag um, and then there were also these candle holders I had used for our engagement party our engagement party was um, teal and silver it was teal like diamond so we had a bunch of like like blue like diamond things and like silver because my ring is like white gold so that was the theme of ours um, she's not sure if she's gonna have a use for them but I figured while I was packing things up there was a bunch of other things we had that just weren't going to be useful for her purposes um, but these are the things that you know what I can show you. oh and then these are waterproof electronic candles because what we had initially planned to do with these vases see they're just like white cylinder or glass cylinder plain vases um what we had originally planned to do with these things were we were going to um, put one of these at the bottom and then fill them with water to have them like illuminated um but it ended up kind of being a little too right for that or something i don't i don't really remember why we didn't end up doing that but for one reason or another we opted out of that 
Um, so that's what she's borrowing. That's what I have so far. So we're thinking for the table, she's doing wood long farm tables and we're thinking about putting like a eucalyptus down the middle. And then she was thinking about maybe doing like scattered those like um, glass cylinder um, candle holders. Um, but now we're thinking maybe getting like um, a bunch of like mismatched candlestick holders and then spray painting them all either white or gold and then having like the tall candlesticks and like layering that throughout the eucalyptus. So um, I think I'm gonna go back to like the vintage stores and see if I can find some like mismatched candlestick holders. Um, and, and then yeah, and then she's just gonna have to decide if she likes that or if she doesn't. And then if she doesn't, then we'll kind of um, look at some other ideas, but um, yeah, she thinks she's gonna like that so far. So that's going on with that. Um, I just ordered my bridesmaid's dress. I will plug in a photo here. Other house updates, the pups keep jumping up on this retaining wall and they're just getting bark everywhere. They're like harassing the dog in that um, yard and it's just a mess. So initially we had kind of like blocked off this area for them to get up onto the retaining wall but now they're able to just jump up or they're using these couches to launch themselves up. So we just put these up yesterday, little gates all the way down. So thus far, this has prevented them from jumping up. Another thing is this area right here. Um, as you may remember, that's where this bench went. Um, with all of the air conditioning issues, um, we our, well, our contractor ended up having to cut this. So the old one only went to about this high. So the bench perfectly covered it and it didn't like bother the vent at all. Cause this is where like air, Sadie, this is where air is sucked into the, the um, ventilation system or the AC system. So it can't be blocked. But now, because it's so much bigger now, cause he said it wasn't big enough. Um, our bench now comes to here, so all of this section is blocked, and it's a problem. So now we can no longer have the bench here. So now we awkwardly have the bench here. It clearly doesn't fit, but we don't know where else to put it, and we need to find something to put here. So either, to, I mean, you can't even do a taller bench, because, I mean, this goes to like my like mid-thigh, so that would be way too tall of a bench. So I think we're gonna have to do a table. Um, we had moved this table over there and it looked really, really good, but the bench looks ridiculous here. And I mean, the art matches that um, vase because we, and like these um, like crystals and stuff, because we had gotten everything to match this area. And then we put like our wedding photo, the like navy, bring it in. And yeah, so this needs to stay. So we're gonna have to find something else to go here. So. Um, Pretty soon I'm going to be doing a video of trying to figure out what on earth to put here and where on earth to put this because we still like it, but I mean, we can't leave it here. I mean, look, look at this. It's just popping up all over town. Unfortunately, we may have to get rid of it, but I really like it. So I want to continue trying to find places for a bit longer, but I'm eventually going to have to give up. Um, for now, I'm gonna make the pups some breakfast and I need to leave in 20 minutes so that I have time to go get my Starbucks. Um, I'm making some turkey hot dogs and then I'm gonna add in some ground turkey for them. So um, it's gonna be a big day. We wanna make it their best day ever. Um, again, after this, we're taking them paddle boarding and then we're gonna let them play for a couple hours in the lake. I'll bring you guys along for that, so you'll see it. Taking out the trash time. I didn't do it this week, but one of the smartest things I've done is I took our boat key right when we got it and I made like four copies of it so that we never lose it. So we put them in different places, but yeah, so proud. Bon appetit and I'm gonna head out. One of our best investments, we hired a gardener to cut our lawn every Monday because we used to only cut it like once every like two or so weeks because we were lazy. All right, in the car, uh, about to head to Starbucks and then head to the nail appointment. Um, I'm oh, not nail, I need a nail appointment. These things are trash. Oh, come on. Also, what on earth is this car in front of me? I don't wanna wait. 
I don't want to wait. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars before it turns around the building, which there can probably fit about two cars there. So there's probably about 10 cars ahead of me. Hi, um, can I please get a grande skinny vanilla latte? Yeah, is that a hot one for you? Uh, iced please. And then can I also get the um, egg white egg bites? Okay. And that'll be it. Nice up here. Thank you. Thank you. Got my Starbucks. Headed to the hair appointment now. Woo! Okay, I just got here. I have like three minutes to spare. So I'm going to try to eat my egg white bites really quick. Um, and then go in. I'm so proud that I made it. Turns out that I accidentally went to, well accidentally but turned out great went to a starbucks that was only like eight minutes from here so that worked out in my favor all right this is the fourth time i'm refilming this clip i keep refilming it because i just found out that apparently hair salons are reclosed and just because i'm a regular and i had my appointment so far in advance she allowed me to still come in um, but she's not taking any new appointments because the salons are closed. So I don't want to get her in trouble. So I had gotten clips of me like walking in, getting my hair done. Um, I'm not going to be using any of those because I don't want to get her in trouble. And um, I keep refilming because I was filming higher up and you could see the other buildings around. And I just, I don't want to get her in trouble. So I just keeping things discreet. Um, so I completely forgot what this appointment was for. We did not move up my balayage. Um, we were just retoning and I got uh, my hair trimmed so or a haircut. So I cut off an inch and then I got layers. So before my hair was all one length, but now you can see there's like layers. There are layers going on. So um, that's what I did. And then I really didn't like how there was like that blonde strip right here. Um, and you could tell like right where it was starting to grow out. So we did a darker toner here. So it kind of blends better, which I really, really like. It doesn't look like it's like growing out. So, um, as usual, she did a fantastic job. Um, I think I've mentioned on some of my other, uh, vlogs that always, I just have these weird, annoying flyaways and many times they like to just stick straight up. So, um, I just bought this. It's Red Ken Rough Paste 12 text or texturized oh texturized texture texturized texture what okay um for now i am on my way home and we're gonna get ready to go paddle boarding okay so i just got to walmart um i'm gonna pick up some ice for paddle boarding and to start icing down the drinks for tomorrow okay um for tomorrow um i did not get to finish my starbucks because i forgot i had to keep a mask on my entire hair appointment so now it's kind of watered down but i'm still gonna drink it we have got the water ice chest packed we've got the drink ice chest packed um, we're gonna have 12 people on the boat. We're gonna be out for like eight hours. So I wanna make sure that we have enough, uh, mostly more than quantity. It's more so we just have like a bunch of variety in here because we don't know what people prefer. So in case you're wondering like, why on earth do you have so much? That's why. Look at the new bottle opener I bought. It's a little anchor and it's nice and big because we keep it in the ice chest and it always gets lost. We have a small one that just has like a D for Dowd. It's like this big and it's always getting lost. So now it's a giant chunky thing, super excited. Okay, so I'm ready to go. Um, I'm just wearing this white marble bikini and I'm gonna throw on the same um, black high-waisted shorts and white top and we are gonna get going. All right, so we packed up the car. We've got the pups. They have their life jackets on. We are ready to rock and roll. We're about 30 minutes out from where we are paddle boarding. So I will see you then. All right, here we are. Time to start unloading. Oh my goodness, the who's so cute. Oh my goodness, the who's so cute, my babies. Okay, update. The pumps that came with the board are super cheap and they broke. So
So we had to leave, go to a stand-up paddleboard store down the street where we bought this awesome pump for almost $110. But look, it is almost inflated and it hasn't even been a minute. The other one we would inflate for, it took like 20 minutes per one. This is amazing. So we kind of thought it was a bit ridiculous, um, the price, but it was good. Two? So now you're gonna go to number two. All right, we're loaded up in the water. Hunter's getting on the board. Sadie's about to get on mine. And let's go. So it was a bit of a journey, but we have made it. It is seriously such a beautiful day. I'm so glad we came out. Who are the cutest paddleboard pups? Hello! So we just left the lake. Uh, we left a little early so we'd have time to give these dirty pups a bath. So um, we're gonna go home, give them a bath, unpack the car, and then I'm gonna head out to go pick up my friend and pick up dinner. All right, these pups just got a bath, clean as can be. And now we are about to power wash the paddle boards. So we just started dinner for the pups. They're having boneless chicken thighs. So I'm gonna cook it on low, um, go quickly take like a 10 minute shower. And then by the time I get back, these should be ready to flip. So I just got out of the shower. My hair is so dry from adding more of the toner. So I'm gonna use my hair mask. It's called Pureology Superfood. It is amazing. If you color your hair, this is it. Oh my gosh, look what came in. Caramel, okay, I did not order caramel. That's concerning. I only ordered Dolce K. Wait, I only ordered three Dolce K. Did I get a free lipstick? Okay, I have my three Dolce K. What? Okay. Three. Okay. So I got a free fourth lipstick. Oh, I'm not mad. Okay, so update. Turns out that the caramel one is a lot taller. And I realized that it says that this one is a lip liner. So this is different. And I mean, I might not be too good at makeup, but I was always under the impression that your lip liner is supposed to match your lipstick. I don't, I don't know. Just hit the road, so I washed out my hair mask maybe three minutes ago. Um, I put back on the shirt and the black shorts. I uh, literally just wore them to the lake and took them off as soon as we got there, so they are still clean. Obviously, new bra, new undies, because we aren't tacking. So it's 7.15, I woke up, um, washed my face, brushed my teeth, I'm about to um, do my makeup and then do my hair and we're gonna head out. Um, I did pick up my friend last night and afterwards we went and we picked up sushi. We had sushi caught up and we were just having such a dandy time that I completely forgot to vlog. So sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, so we're gonna get ready. We need to leave by 8.30 and then hit the road to go pick up the boat. I'm so tired. We didn't go to bed till like 11.30 or something. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get ready. Okay, so it's like 7.30, 7.45. I'm basically done getting ready. But I know I've been super terrible about vlogging yesterday, but look, I did pick up Alexis. Here she is. So she lives in San Diego, but because of quarantine and everything, she has been up here. Um, she's from NorCal. So how's it feel to be home? Amazing, it's really hot here, but I missed all my friends and pups. Yeah, the pups are just really enjoying having someone here to like pet them and they've missed her. Look at this. And they're tricking me, making me fetch all their toys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so with us, what they'll do is they will throw the ball under the couch and then they'll lay there all cute so you feel bad for them go get it. And then if you don't, then they get a little more aggressive and start barking at you. So at the beginning stages where they're pretending to be all cute, Alexis is like, oh, your the poor ball. toy. You can't reach it. She gets on the ground laying down, let me go get it for you. 
they're just sitting there like, ha ha ha, we got her. Yup, and as soon as, as soon as she got it from them and gave it back to them, they immediately went to the other couch and shot it under that one. Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> you poor thing, you fell for it, they got you. The little fluff ball got you. Oh, who, me? <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna finish getting ready and I will bring you guys back when we're packing up the car. All right, so this is what I'm wearing. Uh, this is my bikini. Um, what I like is that the arm piece is separate. So like, even if I lift my arms, it's not gonna pull up the rest of the bikini. Um, the little ruffle goes all the way around and then obviously the bottoms match. Um, I'm wearing these jeans, uh, jean shorts from Abercrombie. They were in my um, try on haul I did like a month or two ago. Um, and then I don't know what shirt I'm wearing yet, but that's okay. So this, all thanks, Sadie girl. Sorry, in the mirror, sometimes from the back, they can look a little similar. There's Huntizo, oh, okay, cleaning himself. We'll leave him, we'll leave him be. But yeah, this is what we're wearing. Shoes, still undetermined. All right, we are all packed up, ready to go. We're gonna go get the boat now. We've got our ice chest, we got the other one in there, all of our life jackets, got some food the tubes in there. So we are all packed up and ready to rock and roll. All right, we just finished loading up. Time to get going. Woo! You got it. Little more. Stop. All right, we just launched, came to the gas station and the rest of our friends are gonna meet us here. trailer all right we're detached ready to go bye baby girl we will see you in another week or two so my hair is just it how's yours all over the place <laughs> <laughs> we're doing our best out here we're gonna go get in and out just because we we deserve it at this point we just we really do hi guys okay so I know I have totally sucked at vlogging today but it has been a busy day it's been a fun day and it has been hard to vlog. So after we dropped off the boat, we went to In-N-Out, went through the drive-thru, picked up burgers, came home, ate it. It is now 10.30. I am ready to shower and call it a night. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.